Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another SpaceX update video. Yesterday, we saw some interesting developments at the Starbase launch site. While things have been relatively quiet due to the pending FAA license, SpaceX decided to add some excitement by shooting a commercial for the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. And guess where they did it? Right at the orbital launch mount. This commercial promises to be thrilling, with the Cybertruck towing a real Starship Raptor engine. We can't wait to see the final result of this unique photo shoot. Over at Massey's, Starship S-29 underwent another cryogenic test. Now, here's the news that has the SpaceX community buzzing. Road closure notices are back. That's right. The SpaceX launch site is about to get active once more. We have a potential road closure scheduled for non-flight testing activities on October 9th, with alternative dates on the 10th and 11th. Given the 12-hour closure window, I'm expecting another test on S26, or perhaps a wet dress rehearsal test on the full stack. We love an active launch site, don't we? After all, we're not like Blue Origin, we need to test and gather valuable data. Speaking of testing, let's shift gears to Rocket Lab and their Neutron second stage testing. In my last video, I talked about this exciting development. Well, we've got some official footage now. The first clip showcases a cryogenic pressure test as the tank fills up with liquid nitrogen. The second one is even more thrilling. Rocket Lab tested the Neutron second stage tank to its limits by filling it with liquid nitrogen, pressurizing it, and then pushing it to failure. The cryogenic testing for the Neutron second stage was a success. The tank held up to all of the expected pressures, and the teams gathered a lot of data. With this data, the Rocket Lab team can now work on improving the next Neutron second stage tank. A few hours ago, SpaceX successfully launched its 70th mission of the year. Four, three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff, go Falcon, go Starlink. Starlink 6-21 launched another batch of 22 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Stage one landing like the deploy. first stage booster supporting this mission B-1076 launched and landed for the eighth time. Stage one landing confirmed. Lastly, here is an update on United Launch Alliance's next mission. The launch of two Amazon Kuiper prototype satellites is a go for launch this Friday, scheduled for 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Should we consider streaming the launch live here on the channel? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more updates in the next video.